Hey, what's going on guys? Coming again here. So I finally managed to connect the serial mode for my Arduino based Kim1 emulator. And now let's have a look how it works. So here I'm opening the session within the uh, PATI, which is the program to talk to serial port. And I'm just opening uh, my predefined uh, fin. So let's just, just want to make uh, it like this and now I just uh, I hit the reset button on my Arduino and here we go uh, we are within the serial mode so what we can do here well since uh, my laptop is it doesn't have exactly the same layout for keys as the mm, teleprinter had back in the day so I can only uh, use some limited uh, functionality but anyway so here I'm pressing enter and it just uh, loops over the addresses showing what is there available so if I go back if I say 0000, zero, zero, zero and then space uh, I'm dropping back to the address of 0000, zero, zero, zero. if for instance I go to the address 1800 zero, zero, then here are the bytes for the ROM itself so uh, it kind of works uh, now let's try to write a program and try to run it so if I go to 0000, zero, zero, zero and here for instance I say A9 and I press dot to put this into memory and then let's say 55 five, for instance and put it back 0000, zero, 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 enter uh, okay so it's run 0000 zero, 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 A9 dot 0000 zero, 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 zero. Yeah, A955, so, these, uh, so this is the opcode to load the immediate data of uh, hexadecimal 55 to A register. But if I just, uh, if I try to run it now, it just takes forever, uh, waiting either for hitting the reset button or, uh, or the stop button to trigger not the non-maskable interrupt in case of the stop button and the reset in case of reset. Um, and the terminal would hand and just 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 to just to give you an idea and that's not the bug that's uh, how it should be so if i go to zero 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 and uh, i press shift g so now whatever i press it kind of hands but actually just runs in a loop and that's the exact behavior it, that it should be there so i just go for a hardware reset and going back to uh going back here and now, uh, uh, if you have been uh, a Kim user back in the day, then you probably know about this so-called uh, vector table that we need to make sure to set up in order to uh, make the single step mode being available and, as well as the break, as well as the break instruction to work. So it just drops back to the Kim monitor. So uh, I will use both, even though I'm not going to be uh, considering the single step in mode, but but still. So here, if I just say 17FA and go there, and the, the value of 0, 17FB should be the value of 1C dot, to put it there, then 17FE. 0 and 17FF 1C. Now let's check this out. So 0, nope, 17FA and go in there. Okay, 0, 1C, then 17FE, uh, 0, 17FF 1C. So far, so good. Now I can go to 0, 0, 0, 0 and enter my program again. So for instance, A9 dot uh five five da zero 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 a nine five five so far so good so if i now press go you see like it goes and then it resets uh, so this uh, the matter it prints came it means to just uh, uh enters the rom uh from the beginning and here i'm I, uh, i've stopped at the dread zero 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 four which which is the case it should be like that and uh, currently, uh, the value of the A register being equal to, 50, to 55 hexadecimal is being stored within the machine context, believe it or not. So if I just check the location 00F3, which stores uh, where mm, the KimRAM dumps the value of the A register after encountering uh, the break instruction, and if I here, nope, 00F3. 
then here we have exactly 55 which which was the case so for instance uh, if we go to 0, 0, 0, 0 and here we put like 34 for instance and 0, 0, 0, 0 and run then 0, 0, uh, 3 now it has 34 so th this proves that the, the, the monitor actually works and well probably one more demonstration uh, so we can print let, let's print a character to, to the console or maybe a couple of characters I'm not going to be doing hello world because I wasn't preparing for this really at the moment but anyway so here is the output character so one EA0 that's what we can use so um, so let's go to 0000, zero, zero, zero and a9 uh, so yeah uh, to a register I want to load the value of let's consider 61 uh, which is the letter a if I'm not mistaken and then we go jump to subroutine uh, so I'm, I'm not sure what the upcode probably it's 20 so 4c is just a jump but 20 should be jumped to subroutine and then the little Indian order for address should be a0 uh, one e uh, let's have a look if it kind of works so a9 uh, 61 20 a01 e and then to to do this forever uh, I want to say here I want to say 4 C and then 0 0 0 0 okay so uh, this would be just looping back and well, actually, it should be printing a character forever here. So I, I want to go back to zero, 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 zero. Let's check out the code. Is yeah, it should be fine. Uh, so hold my breath and let's go. And uh, indeed, we do have the program that prints a forever. And uh, I can't actually stop this other than in the reset of my Arduino. And yeah, here we go for a new session. Okay, guys, this is pretty uh, from my side at the moment. Uh, I didn't yet make uh, loading uh, loading the paper tape work in here, so I'm not sure what exactly going on there. But anyway, that's uh, a bit of an issue. But uh, generally, the good news is that uh, the key monitor in this so called luxury mode actually works. So hope you enjoyed. Yeah, uh, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.